Stop eating, Clarice, you're too fat. I am not. Hello, I'm talented and humble news anchor Mac McKenzie. The mentally insane. What are we to do with them? Shut them up in their homes? Correct. But what if they don't have a home? Dozens, and I mean dozens of homeless people, roam the streets every day shouting incoherent things and assaulting innocent eardrums. Our man Dan Daniels is on the scene with an expert expose. Dan. Thank you, Mac. I stand here with social activist and local annoyance Craig Jepson. Sapphire I, is my name. Bless you. Craig has taken an active role in his community in working to fight against the homeless problem that plagues good and beautiful citizens in our community. Yeah, basically the problem is that a lot of people think that the homeless need food and water and shelter, and they don't. What they need is tolerance. And what we're trying to do here, today, in our lives. After I was able to get away from Craig, we sat down with the real life homeless person. <laughs> See, a lot of people would see a gross, smelly, homeless person like this talking to himself, and they judge him and call him crazy. But I'm not one of those people. See, I like to get down on his level. I like to see how he's doing. He's probably doing homeless. And then, quickly, before he can get away, I get Gorilla Glue on a headset, and I just jam it into his head. <laughs> That way, when he starts talking to himself, people will think that he's talking to another person, having a meaningful, deep discussion. Has your method been effective? I don't really know, because everyone that I put the headset in, they keep taking into that building. I came here to protest today, but I don't know exactly what they're doing, so I brought my non-specific protest sign. I sat down with one of the executives that was snatching the screaming homeless men. Well, naturally when you see someone yelling obscenities at someone over the phone, you think to yourself, now there's management material. I mean, 90% of what we do as managers is yelling at people over the phone. So I took one of them in this morning, and now he's my boss. Uh, now how has it helped your company? We've seen the most impact in our sales department. Um, people tend to say yes to anything when someone's yelling at them over the phone. Really? Yeah. Yeah, of course. Um, you're gonna have to leave now. Seriously? Yeah, it was either that or something about butterscotch toothpaste. Now with the mentally insane officially confined to office buildings, you really will TGIF. That's all for- wait, what? DJI Friday, right, Dan? That's a good one. Well, that's all from us here at Channel T News. I'm Mac McKenzie, and you can stop watching. <laughs>